one of the most common problems that is associated with lumbar spine issues would be something called as neurogenic claudication. Yes, the name does sound a little bit fancy. And if you know the history of it, you would realize it is actually very fanciful. The term claudication is derived from the word Claudius, which was a name given to one of the Roman emperors. And this man used to limp. So Claudius would limp and from there comes the word claudication. So it essentially means limping. So what happens in these patients with severe lumbar canal stenosis is when they start walking, they're okay. But once they cover a little bit of distance, there is abnormal sensations in the leg. So there is something called as paresthesia and soon it turns into pain and then they have to actually start limping and eventually they stop. So this thing is called claudication. This phenomenon is called claudication and the distance that they cover is called claudication distance. Another interesting thing about claudication would be it is not just seen in a neurological condition. It is also seen in some vascular problems, something that we call as peripheral vascular disease. So in a patient with PVD, we see something called as intermittent claudication. So the symptoms are exactly the same. This patient is otherwise okay at rest. Once they start walking, there is development of pain in the leg and they have to stop after that claudication distance is covered. And then again, they regain some strength and again, they are able to continue with the motion. So that is what vascular claudication is all about. And it is caused by thinning out or obstruction in the blood supply to the lower limbs. So when this kind of a scenario arises where two different pathologies are involved, then it becomes very important that we're able to differentiate between the two. So there are certain simple clinical tests that will help us in the first place. The first would be we look at the leg. So if the leg is looking unhealthy, if the nails are looking brittle, if the hair in the leg is sparse, if the skin is unhealthy and shiny, and then when we touch, if the, if the limb is cold, to touch and then we feel for the pulse and if you feel that the pulsation in that leg is not adequate or it's not bounding then we are looking at something called as peripheral vascular disease so it's more of a vascular entity that is causing these symptoms if you still want to confirm this diagnosis we can go ahead with doppler examination of the lower limbs and confirm this diagnosis but if you feel the complaints are because of a neural pathology or because of the nerves getting compressed, then obviously we would order an MRI and look at the spine. And then what we would see, we would see significant compression of the roots supplying the lower limbs. So there would be, there is something called as lumbar canal stenosis. The peripheral vascular diseases goes to a vascular surgeon or a general surgeon. But when it comes to neurogenic claudications, it is us as neurosurgeons who have to deal with it. So when there is compression of the roots at the spinal level, first thing that we look at is how severe are the symptoms. If the patient is able to carry on without much difficulty, then we let it be. We advise physiotherapy, exercise and some medicines and the patient is able to continue with a normal life. But then if we feel or if the patient feels that it's coming in the way of a normal life, but the patient is not able to even move out of the house and do what they really want to. That is a time when we have to actually offer them a surgical procedure. Now, the surgical procedure largely involves decompression. Now, what has happened is the space available for the nerves has become extremely less because of this lumbar canal stenosis. So what we offer is decompression. We make space over there and we relieve the pressure over the nerve roots. The nerves are again able to breathe better. The blood supply to the nerves also improve and the symptoms gradually disappear after the decompression. So that's it about claudication, a symptom whose name is inspired by a Roman king but this treatment would involve a simple surgical procedure involving the decompression of the nerves. Thank you so much.